In just four days' time, Rick Wershey, known to many as White Boy Rick, will be set free. He began as a teenage FBI informant, but ended up spending more than 30 years behind bars for a nonviolent drug offense. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhet joins us live with a look back at Wershey's experience and what the future might hold for him. Simon? David, just two days, Rick Wershey will celebrate a birthday. He'll be 51 years old, and two days after that, he will be a free man. He was in possession of over 650 grams of cocaine, mandatory life. Do you believe a 15-year-old kid was working for the federal government? But he was. There's still a lot of angry people. Third world countries don't incarcerate like this. Rick Wershey has spent most of his life behind bars since being convicted of a nonviolent drug offense at age 17. Michigan law in the 80s called for a life sentence for cocaine possession of more than 650 grams, but was later ruled unconstitutional. Yet Rick remained in prison. Over the years, former FBI agents like Greg Schwartz have spoken out on behalf of Rick's release, calling him a political prisoner. He's contributed greatly to law enforcement. I, I challenge anybody to tell me one prisoner who has contributed more to law enforcement than this man. Schwartz pointed out Rick began helping the FBI as an informant at the age of 14, and today the same criminal offense would only carry a sentence of up to three years. Even worse, records show FBI agents at the time sidestepped rules to use Rick, only to stop returning his calls when they no longer needed help. After a movie based on his life was released, our own Carolyn Clifford sat down with Rick's sister, who acknowledged the role of local news sensationalizing Rick's story. It was like he was a rock star. And he wasn't, but it, it made him more than what he was. Here they were using a child as an underage informant. Many believe Rick was lucky to survive not only being shot at age 15, but a murder attempt by confessed Detroit hitman Nate Boone Kraft. Kraft later advocated for Rick's release in the documentary White Boy and alleged the hit was ordered by a former DPD commander because Rick knew too much about corruption and connections to the family of former Mayor Coleman Young. He wanted us to make sure that we kill White Boy Rick. Experts say Rick's own attorneys at the original trial purposely threw the case to protect bigger drug players. Inside prison, Rick insisted the system had his body but never took his mind. While former police officers and prosecutors spent years testifying at parole hearings to keep Rick locked up, it was a former detective who later came forward to say it was a sham and that history has revealed a massive conspiracy of lies to keep Rick in prison because of his cooperation against corrupt public officials, where she in fact helped with the largest public corruption case in the history of Detroit at the time. All of them have since been set free. Eventually in 2017, a parole board granting Rick's freedom from Michigan prison with support from Circuit Court Judge Dana Hathaway, who found no reason to keep him incarcerated. He was uh, kind of emotional about it. Sadly, Rick immediately was sent to Florida to finish serving yet another unrelated sentence. Now, thanks to hard work by his attorneys, it's time for a new chapter. Rick is a father, grandfather, and fiance to his girlfriend, Michelle, from middle school. Come Monday, he'll finally get the chance to start over. I've been receiving calls from people that are uh, ready, willing, and able to interview him for jobs. And after more than 32 years, Rick's fiance will be the first person that he will see. She'll be picking him up on Monday. Dave, back to you. Amazing story for sure. A lot of history there, Simon. Do we know any more about his plans uh, for after he's released? Yeah, not a lot of information has been put out yet, but he has a lot of supporters. He's going to want to see his close friends, some family members. So a lot of people he's going to want to reconnect with in those days and weeks to come. So stay tuned. All right. We will uh, do that in fact. Simon, thank you for the live report.